Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over some practice exam questions relevant to chapter 5 on solution stoichiometry from practice exam 2.2 in the fall 22 semester. So in this first question, we've got a dilution problem. We start with a 10 mL sample of a solution of nitric acid that's 3.75 moles per liter. That's diluted to a total volume of 200 milliliters. And I'm just going to walk through the problem statement here and underline the important qualities quantities and then we'll proceed from there. So we take this resulting solution and let's just call it X and we dilute that to a total volume of 50 milliliters such that the resulting concentration of nitric acid is 0 0.030 moles per liter. What we want to know is what is the volume of solution X that was used in the second dilution to the nearest 0.1 milliliters. So like a lot of these types of problems I think it helps a great deal here to draw a picture. So we started with a solution of nitric acid. Let's start with that. Just a solution of nitric acid in a beaker here, and I'll represent the solute molecules using dots like this. And let's just do four dots, since this is comparable to four moles per liter. We take 10 milliliters of that. I'll go, I'm gonna go ahead and write 10 milliliters here as the original volume. And that's diluted to a total volume of 200 milliliters in the first dilution. So essentially, what we do here is we add solvent, right, because that's what dilution is. We add solvent until the volume here is now 200 milliliters total. And we haven't changed the num number of moles of nitric acid. That's key to dilution. That's why I left the four dots at the bottom here. Of course, they would intersperse themselves throughout the solution, but the amount of solute has not changed. We take some chunk of this, and we don't know how much this is, but we take some chunk of this and put it into a new solution, diluting that chunk with water, and let's represent that chunk, let's continue to represent that chunk of solution using a purple square, and I'm gonna throw a red dot in there to remind ourselves that that is a nitric acid solution. That's diluted to a total volume of 50 milliliters. So let's call 50 milliliters right about there. And what we want to know essentially is the volume of solution X. Solution X was the one that we made right here. The volume of that purple box. How much of that solution did we use to prepare the final solution? And the final solution's concentration was 0 0.030. Let me actually do that in red since it refers to the red solute. 0 0.030 molar or moles. Per liter. So we started here at 3.75 molar. We actually don't know the molarity of solution X. That's going to be useful for us to figure out, in fact. And our final solution volume here uh, is 50 milliliters, and final concentration is 0 0.030 molar. All right, so how do we proceed here? Well, I would start with the first dilution, figuring out what the molarity of solution X is. And to do that, we can take advantage of the dilution equation, right? And say that, okay, I took 10 milliliters of the stock solution and diluted it to a total volume of 200 milliliters. And the initial concentration was 3.75 molar. So the molarity of solution X here is 1 20th, if you like, of 3.75. And so now we know the molarity of solution X, 0.1875 moles per liter. So now we're sort of switching modes. We know the final concentration, we know the initial concentration, and we know the final volume. And what we want to find is the initial volume, in essence, the volume of stock solution used. So I'm gonna call that V1. And since the moles of solute did not change inside that purple box, V1 times its molarity, 0.1875 molar, has to be equal to the final volume, 50 mLs, times the final molarity, since this too is the number of moles of, of nitric acid. And it's the same before and after dilution inside this purple box that we took out of solution X to dilute. So from here, then, all we need to do is solve for V1, the volume of stock solution used. And when we do this, 
we arrive at a final volume of 8 or 8.0 milliliters of stock solution used. And if you kind of think through the math here, this feels about right, right? The final concentration is about 16% of the initial, and we went from 8 to 50, which uh, leaves the stock at about 16% of the total overall volume of the solution. And so the initial volume of stock used, 8 milliliters. In this problem, we're asked how many moles of lithium sulfate, Li2SO4, are required to produce a solution with a volume of 125 milliliters that is 0.8 molar in lithium ions. And so noting here that we're thinking about Li2SO4, which is a full-blown ionic compound, but what we want to know about in terms of concentration is lithium plus ions, we've got to take account of the fact that this compound dissociates in aqueous solution when it dissolves. And so we can think about this as dissociating into two lithium cations and a sulfate anion when it's dissolved in water. And here's a simple balanced chemical equation for this process. And so in essence, what we want to know is I've got a target volume. Let's go ahead and write that down, 125 milliliters. And you know what? Let's go ahead and convert that to liters because that's going to make our life easier later. 0.125 liters. And I've got a target concentration of 0.8 moles per liter of lithium cations. I can multiply these to figure out my target number of moles of lithium cations. And when I do that, I arrive at a target number of moles of lithium cations of 0.1 moles of Li+. How many moles of Li2SO4 corresponds to 0.1 moles of Li+. Well, since I get two Li pluses for every one formula unit of Li2SO4, the number of moles of Li2SO4 that I actually need to produce 0.1 moles of Li+, is half of this number of moles, thanks to this molar ratio, 1 Li2SO4 for every 2 Li pluses. And so we can see from that molar ratio, which comes from this coefficient here and the implied one right here, is that I actually only need 0 0.050 moles of Li2SO4 to obtain the target number of moles of Li plus cations in the final solution. So taking that number of moles of Li2SO4, dissolving it up in 125 milliliters of total solution volume, gives me a final molarity of lithium ions of 0.8 moles per liter.